All right, today we're gonna to program uh, the Intro 11 print. This is a print that wasn't in the packet. Um, it'll be, you'll be able to download that from a link that's somewhere in the description for this video. Um, but I think it's a good one to go over. It's got a bolt circle with some skipped holes as well as a just regular locations. Now because the, the holes on, or the, uh, yeah, the holes on these two features are not the same, this will be two separate blocks. Again, if they were all exactly the same uh, holes that were being used in both sets of features, we could do this all in one block. We're gonna have to do it in two. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and start a new program. So I'll go to Program Manager, New, Conversational, set up some stock geometry. We go to the part setup screen. We select the more stock geometry. This is gonna be a box. We're gonna manually size it. And the size of that box is 6.75 in X, five inches in Y, and 0.5 in Z. Front left corner zero, so I don't need to use any of my reference positions here. Next, we'll go set up some tools. I'm gonna to set up tool one as a center drill. An eighth inch center drill. Again, the tools are in the upper right corner. Uh, let's do tool two as a drill. Oop. Quarter inch. And we'll do tool three as a half inch drill. Again, I'm not going to worry about tool cow length or any speeds and feeds for this for these uh, programs because they don't need it for graphics. All right, so we've got our program stock geometry done, and now we have our tool set up. So we can go ahead and start writing the program. I'll go to the input screen, part programming. I'm going to select the holes block, drilling operation. I'm going to do a center drill. Start at 0.1, let's go down minus 0.125 using tool one, which is my center drill I set up. Now, here I have some options. I can do the next hole operation as a bolt circle and go ahead and center drill and drill the bolt circle that we have and then worry about prioritizing with the tool optimization, tool change optimization um, feature that we have in the control, but not everyone will have that. That's a purchased option. So I'm going to program kind of around the tool changes. In this particular block, I'm going to use just the center drill, and I'm going to do the bolt circle and the three holes in the corners of the part all in the same block. Again, because it's the same tool, I can do that with a bolt circle and a set of uh, XY locations. So when I go to the next hole operation, I'm going to do the bolt circle. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, actually nine holes in this bolt circle, but we're going to skip two. So there are nine equally spaced holes. We're skipping two of them. So there's nine holes. The center of that bolt circle is at 4.35. Y is at 2.5. The radius of the bolt circle, it's a two inch diameter bolt circle, so one inch. Now the starting angle, the starting angle determines where hole number one is. If I know where hole one is, going counterclockwise, I can find holes two, three, and so on. And I'll need to know those numbers for the holes that I'm going to skip. Well, in this case, I have three different locations that tell me where the, a hole could be. I have that 67 degrees going counterclockwise, uh, negative 13 degrees, or negative 53 degrees, adding the 13 and the 40 together. I'm just going to put my first hole location, or the start angle, at negative 13 degrees. That means that that first hole, just below the three o'clock position there on the, on the circle, will be hole number one. So going counterclockwise, that means I'm going to skip hole two and five. So I literally put in my skip list two and five 
and it will skip those when it does the bolt circle. All right, so we're gonna go to the next hole, or I'm sorry, so that shall finish everything for the bolt circle. Next hole operation, I'm gonna do locations. Again, I'm using the same tool as I did in the bolt circle, so I can put a combination of different things here. So let's go with the far right, bottom right hole here. That is six inches in X. It is 0.66 in Y. The bottom left will be 0.65 in X and 1.43 in Y. And the last one will also be at 0.65X and 2.8 plus 1.43 in the Y. So we can go 2.8 plus 1.43 and that gives me 4.23. When I hit enter, it went ahead and jumped down to the fourth location. Again, if I don't finish that, it isn't going to take it as a location. It won't be a problem. If you don't like that being blank, simply click on delete location. That'll go away. All right, so now if we draw this, we can see that we have our um, three locations. The next whole or the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to copy this holes block oops, in the review screen. So I've gone to review. I'm going to highlight the block that I want to copy. I'm going to go to multiple block functions and copy. Go to the end of the program and paste. Now, I can go in and edit the information in this block to reuse the bolt circle copy and then reuse it again for the, the, the locations. So here we're going to go into block two. I'm going to change this from a center drilling operation to a drilling operation. I'm going to change my depth to minus maybe 0.6 to break through. Change the um, tool that I'm going to use. Let's say we're going to do that quarter inch bolt circle this time. So I'll change it to tool number two, which was my bolt circle that I, or my uh, quarter inch drill that I created. Next hole operation is the bolt circle, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to leave that alone. Next hole operation would be the locations. Now these are half inch holes, not quarter inch holes. So I'm going to delete this operation. So that will finish block two, which will be for my bolt circle. I'm going to go up here and copy again, paste. This time, minus 0.6. I'm going to use tool three, which is my half inch, in, uh, half inch drill. Next hole operation is the bolt circle. I don't need the bolt circle in this case, so I'm going to delete this hole operation. And that just leaves me with the three locations that I already had programmed. So now if I go run this, you can see that we have our three half inch holes, our seven out of the nine holes in the bolt circle, and those were center drilled all in the first block, so my tool changes were all optimized. So using that cut, copy, and paste is another way to reuse geometry that we've already programmed or I could have simply reprogrammed these. These were easy features, but sometimes we do lines and arcs contours where it takes a little bit of time to program those. It's just easier to reuse them when we can.